hello everybody. It is, oh no, it's not September 30th anymore. It's October 1st, 2023. And I think I found our first snow of the season. So we're gonna drive up to Upper Moon Ridge and try to capture the very first snowfall because I don't miss the first snowfall ever or any snowfall. And we've got my beautiful bride with us right now. What's up everybody? <laughs> <laughs> Good to have her with us. Good to have her with us. So yeah, get ready. We are driving through Moon Ridge right now. And uh, yeah, just keep your fingers crossed. Even though my car says 41 degrees, I know it's about 35 outside. And I know a lot of you are thinking, well, it doesn't have to be 32 to snow. It does not. As a matter of fact, when I lived in Denver, Colorado, when my parents sent me to boarding school for two years in, in Denver, um, we would sometimes get snow in the low 40s, but it's because different layers of the atmosphere were so dramatically different in temperature. But yeah, here we go. Here's the zoo. So I'm hoping we catch the snow. I'm really hoping we catch the snow. This is what I was hoping would happen, that we would have some leftover drizzle from the storm. I didn't expect it, to be honest. But, wow. It's, it's looking promising. And if not, my wife's gonna hate me, but we're probably gonna have to drive over towards Highway 38 again. So, guys, you need to understand, like, I, I put a lot of effort into this. You guys know that by all the videos that I make, but we drove earlier all the way towards Onyx Summit because the radar showed that a little blob of blue was in that area. And when we got there, 25 minutes later, it was just stars. There was nothing, in the, no clouds in the sky. So it was super disappointing. And I've been watching thoroughly to hopefully get lucky here. So hopefully this video is not a waste. If it is, you will never know. Because I will not post it. Oh, babe. I hope we do. Don't do that, babe. <laughs> Jeez. You're going to give me a heart attack because I get so excited about this stuff. <laughs> Sorry. So we are on Butte now. Sorry I'm not telling you guys which roads we've been driving on. Uh, but we are on Butte heading up towards Upper Moon Ridge. And, uh, yeah. When the first good snow comes, I'm going to be putting on my snow tires. Looking forward to that. And again, you guys, not trying to be too annoying about it, but I've got that big merchandise line coming out. I'm super excited about it. Again, one of you guys was kind enough to get everything set up, and it's 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 just it's a really beautiful thing. I'm super blessed, super honored. I've always wanted to do it, but I just could never figure out how, especially because purchasing so much stuff at once like it's just not feasible for, for me so he got it figured out for me and uh, on our first snowstorm not this one but our first snowstorm we're going to actually launch the products and I'm really hoping that you guys enjoy it and take to the product and are excited about it it's going to be really cool to see the Big Bear Weather and More brand all over Big Bear someday. I've, get, I've given away in the past a lot of stickers and I see some of the stickers up throughout town. I won't do that because I'm, it's technically littering, but you know what I have to say, it's, uh, it's kind of cool seeing people do that. They're just little tiny stickers, but. So we're gonna go as far as we can. We we might even take moon loaf. How about that, babe? Mm, whatever you want. That's what I like to hear. That is what I like to hear. Oh yeah. She's got a bad neck. 
so not a bad nick, a bad nick. yeah so, well she's got a bad nick too <laughs> so maybe that might not be the, the best idea but we're gonna head that way anyway just to get closer doesn't mean we're gonna actually drive on drive on it I actually said that the next time we do go on one of those roads that I'm not trying to be dramatic but my neck is so bad that maybe I was thinking about wearing a neck brace <laughs> I know that sounds hilarious but no if, if it the last couple times we went on the um, 2 and 10 um, the next day I had like a really bad headache both times it's like damn my neck yeah my neck and my back yeah for sure yeah it actually really did affect her so I felt really bad we, we weren't even driving fast it's just that there's, there's so it's many it's just like really bumpy so super yeah. bumpy just going on a bumpy road for like an hour and a half straight it's just that'll too do much it. for it yeah that'll do it so I want to try wearing a neck brace and see if that works should say on on this thing right there on the GPS deal Wolf and Canyon okay yep yeah, so yes this is Wolf oh no this is Canyon Crest was that a snowflake babe mm. or was that a leaf <gasps> a didn't leaf. it didn't it look like a snowflake a leaf. that's what I the first time I went <gasps> I thought that it was a snowflake but I think it was the same thing it was a leaf we are in fall time so hopefully i know we're all excited about the snow but hopefully we can do a really beautiful fall color leaves or something drive we, they, they've been asking for that yeah it's gonna be beautiful i've seen some of the trees changing already and oh my gosh yeah it's, it's really orange and red so amazing and beautiful look at the sky you guys look So when we get to Moonloaf, do you want to make up your mind then? Or have you already made, made up your mind? Because otherwise we're going to have to drive all the way around to get to Sugarloaf. Uh, well, do you want to get up there and see what's... Yes, okay. yes. Yeah. And then we can look at my other phone right now, because I'm recording with one of my phones. So we can see what the radar is showing. As a matter of fact, I'll show you guys too. second okay it's showing it in like an hour now it, it's gonna be here let's uh, let's zoom in so this is where we're at right here that blue arrow that little bit of blue is right next to us and it's showing it's in like sugarloaf area but when I hit play We'll see at let's see one at okay so at about 130 or 145 ooh so if we don't catch it now guys I'm gonna have to come back out in about an hour and we'll definitely get something so that's gonna be pretty awesome They got some really nice homes up here on the top. 
we are on, An on, on Angel's Camp Road. This is basically pretty much the top of Moon Ridge. But the problem is they get so much snow up here, it's really hard to drive up and down, especially with storms, because you get a, a lot of people who get stuck also. So it's, uh, it can make it really hard to get up and down. snowflakes again you guys if we don't have any snow on, on this drive you guys will probably never know that we do this but I care about capturing the very first snow in town I've been doing that basically the whole time I've been living here It's important to me. Sometimes I've driven up to Onyx Summit to catch the first snow in the area. All right, so this street right here is called Klamath. And this is where the infamous Moon Loaf is. The infamous Moon Loaf. So we're not gonna go on Moon Loaf at the moment. coming back out with me, babe, or will, or will it be a little too late? I only think it's going to be a little too late because I have work in the morning. Alright, well then maybe at the beginning of the, the next video I'll do a little clip of you and I just saying uh, you were out with a, a, a couple times to capture the snow with me, but we weren't able to do it. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then I'll go out and, and do my drive. Alright, guys, so this is Moon Loaf. We're, we're going to turn around. And she's a little bit nervous about her neck and her back. By the way, I got that hole in my tire patched up, so I feel safer driving on these roads. But yeah, we're gonna go down a different way than we came up, and maybe we'll run into some snowflakes there. Oh, hey now, you're an all-star. snowflake so if we can just capture one snowflake and then I'm gonna call Ben Brissy not tonight but in the morning and tell him I was able to capture the first snowflake okay so we, we just passed Angels Camp and we're gonna take this all the way down this is gonna take us down towards Sheephorn where our good buddy Jay has a house there and Speaking of which, babe, Jay said we could use his jacuzzi. And I told him, well, I, I don't want to be that guy to like constantly use it. So maybe we'll use it sparingly, but I'm sure that would be awesome for your neck. And... Oh yeah, I loved his jacuzzi when we went in, went in it last time. Yeah. It's a good jacuzzi. It is. And Jay, as a matter of fact, you guys, he's the one who's doing all the merchandise and taking care of my website, bigbearweatherandmore.com. I've owned the domain name for a few years now and and bought, so when you go with GoDaddy, it gives you all, all these different options of like, since I don't know how to explain it, like of how much power you want on your website. And so I, 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 I bought the most expensive so for 10 years, I get the domain and this and that, and it was like 500 bucks. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. But, um, oh look, we're getting, oh. We're getting something. But I wanted to do that because as the channel grew, I know there are, are people out there who will try to swipe in, swoop in on stuff like that, and then hold it hostage. And I just didn't want to deal with that.
feel like this side has more of a chance, huh, babe? Yeah. Because of all this mist and... Mm-hmm. It's the temperature up here. 30, it says 37. Pretty. It looks like the ends of those trees have snow on them, but it's not snow, it's just a different color green. The snow is coming. And as I said, I'm going to capture it tonight no matter what. the perfect night too because Sunday I can sleep in a little more than usual. Mm-hmm. You got a lot of work tomorrow, huh? Um, no, not a lot. I have some, some work. This is Flint Ridge. We're turning left on Flint Ridge. We're going to follow the emergency evacuation route. Hopefully we get some emergency snowfall on this route. <laughs> I, um, Back on Wolf. When I used to deliver up here, mm-hmm. I would get lost coming back down and I would just follow those emergency evacuations. That's how I first started doing it too. Is just following those signs. Most of the time when I was following them, it would take me to like the, the part of Moon Ridge that I didn't want to be in, but. <laughs> yeah. And as a matter of fact, this is taking us back to where we started. I thought it was going to drop us off somewhere else. So, yeah. I, so I, I just did that too. So we're going to be taking this, which is uh, Villa Grove. We could actually, yeah, you know what? We are actually going to take it a little differently. Nah. Should we, babe, turn left on Luna and then left on Sheephorn? Yeah, why not? Why not? I think that's a good idea. So this next street is called Luna, just like our doggy. By the way, guys, I was talking about Jay, the cool dude who, who let us use his jacuzzi and stay over there one night. He owns one of the most just cabin-feeling Airbnbs up here that I've been in. It's a really, really, really cute place, comfortable as can be. Um, as I said, there's a jacuzzi there also. It's two-bedroom. Um, it's got a big living room, and um, they've got all the all the modern technology also if you get bored of uh being away from from all that they got great internet it's it's a great spot and it's it's on Sheephorn, right down the street from bear mountain so it's it's a sick location if you guys have any questions about that let me know and i'll i'll get you in contact with jay he is the nicest guy you guys very very kind very selfless and anything I can do to help him out, I am definitely down to do that. We're gonna be passing his place right now too. So if I can remember, because I'm so scatterbrained all the time, if I can remember, I will point it out. So we are on sheep horn now. Sheep horn. One of you guys asked me if I've seen any more bears since we had that sighting right in front of my house, and I have not. I wish I have, but I have not. Right. That was a pretty awesome sighting. Oh man, it was, I couldn't believe it. I, I was freaking out in such a good way. <laughs> All right guys, we're coming up to Jay's place here on Sheephorn, so you guys can see. It's in a really good spot too. This is a part of town that gets a ton of snow. So this is like where I would want to be for sure. And it's close to everything. 
there it is. The house with, oh, you know what? Someone's there, so I'm not gonna pull into the driveway. But yeah, that's it right there. Let me roll down the window. That's the place. Guys, it's a wonderful place. Jay, I hope you're not upset that I showed your house, but it's, you know, uh, I'm trying to help you out here. I don't think anybody's shady on this channel. But I wanted them just to see how nice it is. Wish we could have gotten a better view. But it is what it is. Right, babe? Right. 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 Okay, so I don't think we're going to get any snow, so this video is not going to be uploading. But I'm getting good exercise holding the camera, so that's good. My arm really is the best gimbal ever. But yeah, we're not we're not getting any snow. It just needs to get a little colder. Ooh, did I just Maybe you know what? We're going to do one more little area and then we're going to I'm going to have to go to 7-Eleven and grab a pizza. Which is the last thing that I should be doing with what I'm going through. Like, I've been eating so boring for the past few weeks. So boring. Like, the easiest stuff to digest and just, it's, it's, it's been a nightmare. And I'm at a point where I'm just, like, I'm losing my quality of life. <laughs> So I'm going to potentially take that risk of feeling like absolute, just not good. <laughs> so I'm hoping when we pull up here to Bear Mountain, we, we might get some of the snow we've been looking for. hand side I will be definitely pointing the camera towards it so you can see oh, what is that up there oh it's just a reflection So I think we are S-O-L, Soul, when it comes to this drive. So that's two long drives we've done, trying to capture the first snow for you guys. But I don't want to waste your time, that's why we're not posting all the videos. Do you think maybe they would like to watch it anyway, babe? I think they always like watching whatever we post. Yeah, you know what? Maybe I'll post it anyway. I'll put our attempt at finding the first snowflake this season. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Cute. And then <laughs> I'll be going back out and finding the first snowflake in hopefully about an hour. It's one in the morning, 37 degrees. It's definitely gonna cool off a little bit more in the next hour. 38 degrees now. We're kind of going backwards there, but we are lowering in elevation, descending a bit. And on the right hand side is the golf course. Right now we are on a street called Club View. Club View. If you turn around on this road and go the other way until it dead ends at the top, it's a really cool little free sledding location it's not meant for sledding but i send a lot of you to that area because it is free you just gotta hike up and sled down and hike back up and sled down
snowing driving on this street now because of what they did last October by putting in all these lights and these roundabouts. When it's snowing, you can really see it snowing really well through all these lights. It's, it's pretty cool. Just a little bit too bright. I wish these lights had like a yellow or like a yellow tint on them. That'd be better. It's a lot of lights. It feels like a like a Walmart parking lot. Maybe they could have spread them out a little. Yeah, totally. They're just all all on top of each other, aren't they? They look pretty though. They do. As I said, I just wish that they had <laughs> a, a darker tint to them. Yeah. But anyway, guys, that was technically our second attempt of the evening to find the snow we did not find the snow but I'm telling you what I'm really confident I'm gonna find it in a little bit so let us say goodbye hope this video didn't bore you guys please like and subscribe thanks for hanging out with us we appreciate it we love having you with us and uh, my beautiful bride Have a good night guys she's probably not gonna be coming with us for the next ride unfortunately She's been a trooper going on these ones with us, so I can't, you know, I, I can't be upset about it. She's got work in the morning. So yeah, once again, thank you guys for enjoying this wonderful experience with us. And I'm looking forward to a lot more videos and a lot more comments and, and responses and stuff like that. I really enjoy communicating with you guys. It's 